Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Toy Chat. This is Sang. Autumn. And Max. And today we are reviewing the Shriek Correct Shriek Mates dolls. We got Claudine Wolf, Gil Weber, and Katrine Demieux. So yeah, so this is the primary budget line from Shriek Wrecked. Um, packaging is the exact same as all the other Shriek Wrecked dolls. You know, there's just the little um, ship on the ocean background. And this is the first we've seen of um, reboot all these characters, technically. Well, no, no. I'm not sure if that was the first Claudine, technically. It's not. Yeah, but this is um, the first we've seen of reboot Gil and reboot Katrine. Yeah, we have no idea what their signature look is. So here is the back of the Shriekmates packaging. Um, you know, as with all the previous releases, you know, recently, um, the back of the packaging is standardized across the board. Uh, the only difference you'll see is the artwork. I mean, some of it looks really nice, some of it, like Claudine, I think looks kind of weird, but... Yeah, I like how Gil looks. Yeah. I um, mean, Katrine's pretty cute. Mm -hmm. Either way, I mean, the artwork's kind of cute. Whoever it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, same blurb throughout the whole three packaging. There's really no description on the individual characters. Yeah, it's very, you know, the new Monster High um, line is very uniform in terms of the content they have on the box. So, a little bit less personality in each box. Alright, so first up here we have Katrine Demieux. So Katrine is sporting pink eyeshadow with ruby red lips and some slight blush, reddish blush on both cheeks. Katrine has medium length lavender hair with some dark purple and uh, magenta highlights. She's also wearing a black beret with a ribbon painted on the side of it. So her beret looks like there's a, it's a ribbon on it as well as little like ornament kind of anchor um, design on it. Uh, she has earrings, what looks like some yarn, little balls of yarn. I like this Katrine's makeup. Uh, I like this color combination in her hair too. I think she's probably had a similar one. It's usually kind of, you know, they don't change Katrine's color combination a ton between releases, but. So for Katrine's outfit, she has a spaghetti strap, little uh, thigh length party dress looking thing. And uh, it's covered with one solid pattern that features stars, mice, roses, and little banners that have her name on it, as well as some anchors to fit in with the Shriek Wrecked theme. At the bottom, it has a couple of black little hems to give it the appearance of layers or maybe just a little extra flair, which is nice. Kind of gives it a little bit more boldness. Um, she has this really cute necklace uh, that's like a silver anchor and it comes up tying around her neck and has a little uh, magenta bow on the side there. It's all, you know, one piece and it's mostly silver, but I actually think it goes along with the outfit pretty well. And for her purse, she has a blue satchel type thing with a uh, rope as the handles and a little, I think the same anchor motif that she has on her beret. The design on her dress uh, really makes me think of like a tattoo parlor. <laughs> it's a very kind of, um, you know, like punky tattoo looking design to it, which is, you know, it's cool. It's pretty unique. It's like chic in an interesting way. Katrine is wearing a pair of deep blue wedge heels uh, that have a deep blue strap across the front. Um, they are open toe and they've got little painted magenta bows on the front of each shoe. Um, there's a very interesting design on the dark blue portion. Um, you know, it almost looks like um, a kind of netting or chains, something along those lines, and there's an anchor. Um, and there's also a little 
mice or rats running across the bottom. They're pretty cute. <clears throat> they fit, you know, the rest of the outfit moderately well. So next up we have Gil Weber. Gil is sporting a very flattering um, goggle piece. <laughs> I hope that was a sarcastic <laughs> flattering uh, because it looks extremely awkward and cumbersome. <laughs> it's, it's like it's very large yeah, in comparison to his head. Yeah, it's this uh, like turquoise, like clear plastic that they uh, painted a eye patch on it. Which well, doesn't seem great for vision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm curious on this version if Gil can breathe above water. Oh, well, I don't think he can breathe in the ocean, regardless. Oh yeah, oh. That's true. yeah. He's he's fresh water. Yeah, but. But, but above water in general, yeah. Yeah, he cannot breathe. So I'm just curious to what, uh, if, you know, maybe this little goggle thing is filled with, you know, some fresh water for him to breathe in. I don't um, think this is necessarily much cuter than his helmet, though. Yeah, I guess it's less plastic. But yeah, so this piece right here can come off and to reveal his new look. Alright, so here he is without his goggle. Hopefully he can breathe. Um... <laughs> So Gil, um, for the most part, has gone through some changes. Um, as Ada mentioned while we were unboxing him, his eye color has changed. So Gil used to have yellow eyes, now he has some uh, pink eyes. But it matches Laguna so yeah, well. Yeah, so well. It's really interesting that for the reboot, they've changed almost every single character's eye color. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Uh, recurring theme. I'm actually pretty content with Gil's new face mold. I mean, he's kind of like pinhead looking from certain angles, but um, other than that, you know, I wouldn't say it's a humongous difference from his original mold. Um, I think his eyes are bigger. I think that's about it. And that's what they're, yeah. Yeah. I'd almost say he looks a little bit like, uh, he looks a little more monstery in this. Mm -hmm. Form. Looks... I think the boys benefit from having um, the Ever After High body mold a little bit more muscular, a yeah. little more different from the girls. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Because yeah. mm -hmm. uh, the Monster High bodies kind of, even for the men, kind of seem more feminine. And mm -hmm. they're kind of gangly. Yeah, the... yeah. But you know, people have different body types. But mm -hmm. anyway. Like really? Gil deserves to exist more than Gulia? <laughs> Who even likes Gil? Seriously, of all the boys they could have confirmed is coming back. Like, no Claude? Why would they have done Gil first? Gil, I mean, glad Deuce is around, but... We're filming. Whatever. So Gil is wearing a blue and uh, deep blue and aquamarine blue tank top with a little fish hook silver necklace. Um, there is a black anchor across the front of his tank top, and he's wearing shorts uh, that are knee length and have little white fish bones across. Um, it's a very simple outfit, you know, they kind of slop together, <laughs> the budget boy outfits. It's very much hanging out at the beach yeah. type thing. I don't know if he would necessarily be dressed as a pirate, like, would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's appropriate for the theme. I mean, I, I usually, you know, I like, like, boy doll tank tops. Um, you know, that's expectedly budget looking. But it's actually two pieces. <gasps> oh my gosh. She oh has. Oh my gosh. Hashtag luxurious. <laughs> uh, he has, like, a sort of cuff bracelet that uh, meshes in with his fins so that he can wear it and it's kind of hard to tell what's going on here it's like a weird pattern of ropes and chains at the end it comes down into another fish hook he's very fashion forward but very <laughs> dangerous why would you have a hook right where your wrist is you know it's probably made out of plastic yeah, <laughs> it looks sharp, so don't hurt yourself, Gil. It's okay. I love how the themes for these outfits, though, for the most part, they're uh, they're very morbid in you know in terms of um, what the theme for the character is supposed to be. Like you know, Katrine, there's like mice all over her, and Gil has a bunch of like 
dead fish representations all over him. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't really think about that. That I mean that. Well, can, fish eats fish, so. Yeah. yeah, I mean that I can get down with that. It's mm -hmm. you know it's Monster High, so it works for the theme. Uh, yeah, they're very boring shoes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for Gil's shoes, he has a pair of Vans esque kind of loafers, and they have. A kind of a quilted pattern look, which I'm guessing are supposed to be gills on the top. Or no, not gills. Uh, scales. Mm -hmm. They should just give him sandals. Yeah. yeah. That probably would have fit more with this motif, but... Yeah, these are like your run-of-the-mill average, like, boy shoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gil also comes with a aquamarine blue bag that reminds me quite a bit of, um, like, the, the bags you keep, like, volleyballs and basketballs in. Um, you know, it could be a volleyball bag, because it's supposed to be a beach line. Maybe it's a fish catching bag. There you go. Yeah, and there's a little fish net design painted red across the front, and a little strap in the back for him to wear it. So, last but not least, here we have Claudine Wolf. Claudine is uh, sporting some very nude makeup. Um, she has light pink eyeshadow, as well as some slight pink blush and some salmon colored uh, lipstick. Uh, in terms of hair, she has medium length hair that's tied in a ponytail on the side. Um, there are little bits of purple highlights in it and she is sporting a little captain hat slash um, bandana. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cute as far as plastic headpieces go. She looks so chic. I like it. I just wish it was easier to see. I mean, I guess in this shot it's okay to see, but I wish that the hat was a little bit more like tilted upward yeah. so it, you could get more of a look of it, but it's still really cute. She's very on theme with the, um, the, the whole pirate motif. Um, she's probably the one that really shows off that they are going on a uh, nautical adventure. So for Claudine's outfit, she has this really blinged out gold chain with all sorts of charms on it. All of the charms are all one piece, actually. And it has like a compass, it's like a moon, there's one little charm that has her first initial on it. I think I see a couple stars and something else I can't quite identify because it's all one color. But uh... It pops on top of her striped elbow length t-shirt. It is finished off nicely with this like uh, wrap belt here. It's a peachy salmon color, same as her headband. And it has a cross crossbones design in gold, except instead of a skull in the middle, it's like a little wolf paw, which is pretty cute. Um, and for her pants, it's just basic black pants with red accents and also on the sides here she has little sparkles of gold to, I don't know, signify something, but I kind of okay. wish it were more a front or something because from the front it's just like really plain, but I, mean, I guess it fits. Yeah. At bad. the very least I did that red thread to mm -hmm. sort of break up the black. But I don't know. And then for her purse, she has this like, I don't know, supposed to be... Like a tote bag? Wait, well, it's a tote bag. It's supposed to be made out of like bunched up fabric. It's all the one salmon color again with the crossbones, paws, chains, a compass. It's like, I uh, I'm not a big fan of things that are all one color. One also has some bows on the side. Claudine is wearing a pair of royal purple boots that are very swabby. On the top of each boot's cuff, there is a little gold pair of crossbones, and there's a little ship steering wheel on the side um, that is painted gold with a little crescent moon around it. You know, I mean, these aren't like crazy a ton going on shoes, but they're maybe one of my favorite parts of this Claudine. Um, I like how it incorporates both the pirate theme of the line as well as, you know, Claudine's theme of, you know, with like bones and moons. 
Um, and there's a lot of really nice detailing, like the front wedge, um, you know, it looks like it has a nice like wooden texture and the heel itself looks like a peg leg. Um, so it's really cool. A lot, you know, a lot of love and care, as we've said in recent videos, like is going into these shoe designs. So even if you ever see them all in one color, you know, make sure you take a close look because there's usually a lot of intricate design going on there. I like that it has little, um, uh, like zigzagging, like, like belt stripes on there. It's very cute. It's always very exciting when you see painted shoes. So. Yes. Be supportive. <laughs> yeah. So for our budget line, you know, she had some paint on her, so it's pretty nice. So these are our final thoughts on the Shriekmates budget line. Crickets. <laughs> 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 I really like them. I think this whole line. I bought all of them, so I really like the theme. Uh, it's very random considering, you know, we had in the past like Gloom Beach, other like, um... Skull Shores. Yeah. Haunted even. Yeah. Had a lot of pirate stuff, right? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's very jarring that they did this so soon. But uh, as, as a line, I think they're all very cute, very detailed. Um, a lot of effort has went into them in terms of just how they look and they did introduce two new characters who we kind of don't have like the signature dolls for yet so it's you know it's your first chance to get them um, so it's very interesting that we they, they're going down that route um, uh, I think you know while you know in the past I would say fifteen dollars is kind of overpriced for Budget, do budget dolls that don't come with stands or brushes, um, but, you know, just, you know, we live with what we, we have, you know, and I think, you know, with, in terms of the new Monster High budget line, these come with a lot of uh, stuff and a lot of paint, so um, I appreciate that. I think uh, Katrine is very cute. I love her new look. Um, it's not too much of a difference. Um, she has bigger eyes, pretty much. That's about it. And, you know, a new body mold. Jen Gill, you know, is Gill. So, you know, <laughs> it's nice to see another familiar face, but... I like his facelift. Yeah. He looks the tiniest bit more, fishy. more approachable. Yeah. I don't know. Slightly nicer. Yeah. It's interesting you should say that, because I actually kind of feel like he's a little bit um, spookier looking. I'm not sure he if He might be an though. alien. Like, yeah. he has eyes and, yeah. like, a long face. But, I mean, he's, he's definitely... In my opinion, a lot more personality than what he originally looked like. I just feel like his original look was very true to character, where he's kind of like, you know, oh, I'm rich boy, whatever, mm -hmm. don't care, and that kind of came off, came across. So I thought he kind of looked sort of cold. He does look kind of alien esque here, but mm -hmm. with more life. You know, I should preface this by saying I'm not one for budget lines in general. Um, this budget line as a whole, I personally find a little bit unimpressive. Uh, it's just not super exciting to me. Um, I think Katrine is really cute. Uh, Katrine actually grew on me quite a bit. Um, I would say in terms of reboot faces, she underwent some of the least noticeable changes. Uh, you know, if you kind of just glance at her, like, she looks the exact same. I'm pretty happy with Gil's new face mold. Claudine's new face mold, um, in my opinion, is... it's okay. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna feel about, like, every single release of hers having that kind of, like, um, you know, very expressive, um, you know, risen eyebrow. Now, I wouldn't personally file these as a must-have, but you know, if you're a Monster High fan who's really, you know, into the budget lines and uh, especially if you like boys, you know, Gil is one of only two reboot boys um, available. Right? At the time of film. As at this time. Um, like Sang kind of mentioned, you know, when this direction, I I'm kind of confused as to, you know, one of the first boys for them to reboot is like why it's Gil. Um, I guess he was one of the ones that came out pretty early on. Um, I would have personally preferred to see Claude or, um, you know, or maybe, you know, someday before we die if we can see a follow-up. Um, Holt. Holt. 
yeah, and you know, if they could reboot Holt, something like that, that would have been really awesome. I'm most likely not going to get any of these. Uh, I might get Katrine down the line. Um, but yeah, it has a simple cuteness to it, and $14.99 is nowadays is, you know, not a bad price point for dolls. While I'm a big fan of uh, budget dolls, because affordable dolls is my thing, I'm really not into the pirate look at all. I'm really digging Katrine because she's kind of got like that tattoo parlor feel and just super cute. Uh, so I'm thinking about getting her. I also really, as I mentioned off camera, I'm really appreciating more and more their Ever After High style bodies. I think that was a good change. They feel a little bit more natural, I suppose, which I think goes with their whole facelift. So. Um, yeah, if you're into it, I get it, but, uh, not feeling pirate stuff, personally, so I'm probably not going to get it. <laughs> yeah, that's actually one thing I kind of forgot to mention as well, is, um, I think as a whole, and we've mentioned this, I think, in other Shriek Wrecked videos, uh, Shriek Wrecked as a whole, um, the theme feels really redundant, because we've already gotten so many, like, underwater, swimming, like, even pirate releases. So this theme overall, um, it, I feel like it was just a little bit of a murky choice uh, for to be part of like one of the reboot lines. Uh, they should have done something really fresh and inventive. You know, I think that would have been nicer. Oh, and one final thing is um, in terms of the new body molds, um, for the most part, I really like the fact that the Monster High dolls have the Ever After High body molds now. It's especially nice for the boys. Um, which, yeah, for those of you who don't know, Gil has an Ever After High boy body, so, you know, it's a little bit bulkier, a little bit more definition. Um, I really don't like the fact that they added, like, that plastic chunk, like, fur around Claudine's wrists, um, or it's more of, you know, like a, um, it's extended, it's protruding a little bit from her wrist. Um, it's just very, like, Sasquatch looking to me, and it's just, I wish they hadn't done that. Well, Gil has new hands too, so that's just something a little Are they still webbed? Because didn't they get rid of they're the webs? They're webbed, but they're, they're not the clear plastic that they painted with like the skin tone over it. Yeah. So, uh, this was our review of Shriek Correct Shriek Mates. Um, again, we bought these for $14.99. They are, well, Claudine and, Ka Claudine and Katrine are both available at, you know, um, Target, Toys R Us, Amazon, um, so they pretty much everywhere now. I think Walmart has them now too. Um, Gil just popped up on Amazon, so if you like to get them, you know, head over to those local retail stores and get your own. Um, thank you for watching Toy Chat, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.